Hi guys, Jenna and Greg out here on our land. Yay! We've been running around finding four by four posts. Greg just dug four holes, five holes, for our watershed, I guess you call it. Pump house. But uh, I'm trying to run some hoses over to the neighbors to get some water so we can go ahead and mix some concrete. And it's only 96 degrees and just 33% humidity. Whoa. So here's our posts. I'm still working on hoses. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, I'm taking a break in the truck. It's 96 degrees out and ridiculous. Hot, sticky, wet, yuck. Um, originally, for our well, we were going to purchase a well house. Now, in this area, in uh, East Texas, there's several companies that make them, and they're insulated and everything. Pretty nice. You can get one for around $1,200 to $1,600, but they're all five foot by five foot. When they drilled our well, they put the tank a little bit further away from the pump than most wells are. I don't know why they did that. Maybe it's just because it was easier for them. But if I did a five foot by five foot well house, there wouldn't be enough room for somebody to get inside of it and maneuver around the tank if there was ever a problem with the tank and get the tank out. So I'm having to do a five foot by six foot. And so when I started looking at the cost of a five foot by six foot, I couldn't find any. I could find cheap, you know, plastic uh, enclosures or uh, aluminum enclosures, but we have all these trees right around our well. And as you can see in the last storm, this one broke. We've got two broken ones over there. <laughs> the trees out here, because they were timber, are prone to breaking because they were all grown real close together yeah. so whenever a yeah. storm would come they just lean against each other without having all the trees for them to lean against if they lean too far they just snap and so i was afraid if i purchased a lightweight well house that if a tree fell on it i was going to lose the well so i'm beefing this up i'm using four by four treated posts and we're going to put a 2 by 12 on the top rung of it to support a tree if it falls over on it. And the rest of it will be built pretty much like a fence and then I'll cover it with steel siding. So that's the plan anyway. <sighs> Hopefully it works. <laughs> We got the posts in the ground, got the holes dug, got the posts in the ground. Now we're going to mix up some concrete and set them in the ground permanently, hopefully. Yeah. So we'll get going on that now. Yeah. Camera. This one goes both ways. This side's good. You're twisted. You're twisted. Okay, out there. Okay. Oop. the bubbles. Keep the bubbles straight. Bubbles are spot on.
That's a 40 pound bag of concrete. A little easier to work with, I guess. You wanna see how it looks? Does this need to move just a hair? I don't know, I thought you were leveling it. Yeah. Okay. This side's spot on. That's good. Four. Good, still good, still good. See, still good. Right. Still spot on, spot on, spot on. Okay, according to this, it's still good. I see, see that? All right, done. Done, you guys, done. There we go, there we go. Taking a break, wipe off the concrete. Next, I gotta put the rails around it. Yeah. And uh, get it all tightened together. Yeah. And then we have to. Uh, we're gonna put plywood on the other side of it instead of rails. Put a rail across the bottom and a rail across the top, but there won't be a rail across the middle so I can cut a door out. There you go. Okay. What an ordeal. But slowly getting stuff done. Between working, both of us working, and car wrecks and hail storms and stuff like that. Hi folks, we're back at it. We're here at our property. Okay, we just bought a bunch of lumber, charged up a bunch of battery packs for the tools. Greg's already sweating his butt off. I got some screws here. We went to True Value because now it's called Do It Best, which we used to deliver to Do It Best actually. But the thing is, we're getting it done. Get her done. And uh, got all these level on the top here. These are solid, you guys. You know, we, he, he did these just a few days ago, and they are solid, solid. It's awesome. So, um, let's see, what else, baby? Right now? How much have we spent so far? 200, and, 200 and less than $250. Okay, not bad. But uh, using a lot of John's equipment, we still have some of ours in storage. We did bring a load of our stuff to the Connex. 
so we still have all our shelving and stuff to put together and unload and stuff but right now we're at like 99 degrees probably 50 percent humidity and i think i need to hold something for greg look at my he-man how full of sawdust I feel pretty much worthless because I can't hold stuff with my hands and stuff too well. But you're a good cheerleader. Yeah. Hurrah! Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So what do you think? Measure, remeasure, is that the rule? How are you supposed to say that? Measure twice, cut once. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I know it's something like that. It's been forever since I've done anything like this. I bet it's okay. 43 years ago? Yeah, around there. Not that long ago. But mm -hmm. It's cool. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna need you to hold. Push down on that side right here. Uh huh. It's gonna rock. Yeah. It's okay. It's a little bowed. Alright. Let me turn this off so I don't cut no fingers off. Side on your mark. On my mark. On the edge of the wood on your mark. There it is. Oh, oh. I'm trying to hold the camera too. Right, I, I, forget it. I'm good over here. How are you? Right on it. Okay. It works then. Let's set it down and get the drill and okay. have all kinds of fun. You cut your finger off. Got me. See? Ta da! There's your bit. Alright. There you go. Yeah, it comes with a star bit. See? Pretty cool. Okay. Awesome. Yay! Hey guys. Whew. The reason we're reinforcing it on this side is because of the hazards behind it. Okay. We've lost quite a few tops of trees last big storm so we figure okay maybe that will save our pump and tank if we build it sturdy enough in case the tree limb falls aim down there you go yeah can you see how close you were to the top yeah, it's good. What do you think, baby? Coming well, along. I was close on that, huh? Yeah, I said they aim down. I'll put aim another down. one anyway. Yeah. Not gonna hurt it. Yeah. All right. Pretty sturdy. Yeah, pretty sturdy here. Yeah. You get the other side, it's going to be even more. Oh, man. We're pulling off in the car, the truck really super hot and ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah. I didn't even check See, that. there's a difference between where we moved from Las Vegas, which gets much hotter than Texas. But now that we're in Texas, like today, I think the high is supposed to be 97 or something. 97 in Texas feels like 117 in Vegas. Yeah. Because in Vegas, there's no humidity. You don't sweat. Here, it hits 85 and you start sweating. Mm -hmm. 97 feels like you're in a steamer. Yeah, exactly. 95 degrees right now. Okay. Humidity is 38. And it feels like it's 99. The sun's starting to drop, so that helps. He's going to let me actually try to use a power tool. Okay, I'll get him started. Yeah. Oh, you want me to get him started? You can if you want. You yeah, want to? Yeah, I'll okay. try. Here. There you go. Okay, there you go. All right, let me screw. You see how the princess does it. Right about there, right? That'll work. Okay. Good job. It's not too far. You don't want to come through the other side. Here you exactly. Go. Once you get it going, if you put your other hand on the back on top of this, it'll mm -hmm. be easier for you. Oop.
Okay. See? She's already a master at this. It's been a long time, but... When it comes to fixing vehicles, she's the boss. When it comes to kind of doing construction, she hasn't done a whole lot of that. Although she, her and her first husband built a house. Yeah, we doubled the size of the house. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay, now we're going to tack it up on the bottom over there. Okay. Ooh. So. You get that uh, bullet. Where is it? There it is. Here I am, throwing the camera all over the place. Here's the bullet. Here's the bullet. Bullet level. Okay. Okay. This okay. one? Okay, right to there is where the other one was on the other side. So, here you go. Okay. Board, the bottom of the board, right, right where that one is. Okay. And right there. All right, see? All right. Level it up. See? Uh huh. I'm holding it. See, you guys can't see me. See, I'm trying. I don't have the legs up. You got it. Okay. Drill it in. Okay, I'll drill it in. You guys can't see me. All right, guys. So far, so good. Um, we went ahead and got some wet towels to cool ourselves off with. Drink some more water. Now we got to do this side. We're going to do a slope up here on both sides and some on the middle part to hold the roof. But just a little bit more to go, y'all, for today. All right, guys. All right, guys. We've got the framing done. And what we did, the framing for the roof this side is about three quarters inch lower than this side so when we put the roof on it any rain should roll off to this side over here and just to tighten everything up especially this 2 by 12 we put three carriage bolts through the 2 by 12 and through the 4 by 4 just so if one of these trees or to fall on the well house it might destroy the roof but hopefully this 2 by 12 and the 4 by 4 posts that's why I put three of them on this side and only two on this side hopefully I don't care if the well house gets destroyed I just don't want the well to be destroyed so we do have insurance on the well but I'd really rather not take the chance and I put one 2 by 4 sideways here so that we can hang our regular light and our heat lamp next we're going to be putting plywood on the roof and we're going to be putting plywood on that side over there where our door will be coming in i have to make the door wide enough to get the biggest piece of equipment out of here which is the tank so that if we ever have a problem with the tank and they've got to pull it out of here that they can without me tearing this entire structure down to put a new tank in. But I think it turned out pretty well. It's unbelievably sturdy. The rest, we're going to put we're going to put plywood on the top and on this side. The rest of it all it's going to have is going to be metal sheathing around it and then on the back side of the metal sheathing we'll use liquid nail to attach insulation so it will be somewhat insulated the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want your pump to freeze in the winter time so we'll have a heat lamp in there so far so good it's the end of our day today